Next, through the repair shop doors, Janet from Winchester, accompanied by her husband, John. So what do we have here? A bear. Oh. But he doesn't really look like a bear. Oh, OK. <laughs> I'm intrigued. Oh, my oh, look. Quite big. Oh, look, wheels and everything. Yeah. Here we come. Yes. So we can see that Wheelie Ted has, in fact, been covered beautifully. Really good job. Do you know who covered well, him? My, my mother did it. She, she was quite a good seamstress. It was an old coat, and she decided he'd got in need of, of covering up, really. Uh -huh. But I remember wearing that coat as a dressing gown. Really? Yes. <laughs> Do you remember him without this coat? Well, on? it must be like 65 years ago. It's a very long time ago. I know he was getting very threadbare on the back. I think his oh. face might have had some damage as well. So how did you come to have Wheelie Ted? My father worked for a lady, and I think that she gave him to him for me because I was borderline cerebral palsy. Okay. I couldn't walk, and I think she thought it might help because he was sturdy, and he would keep me upright. He was actually the person that helped you to walk. I'm sure he had a great benefit because, you know, he, he's big, so you'd have to walk with him. You couldn't sit on the no. floor and play. I mean, there weren't things like walkers and all the things that you get nowadays. Weedley Ted was sort of a companion. Mm -hmm. I mean, I was a bit isolated. Um, your friend. Yes, my friend. And now he needs a bit of TLC. Good. So that's so his original yes. eyes okay. tied on a string, yeah. which is very clever. And he's got a lovely growl. I think that's my favourite. I was going to say, I'm, get, I'm actually very You're excited. Itching, I'm are you? Yeah. Can you tell? T -t -t yeah, go on. Go for it. I'll hold on. <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> I've always loved his growl. That's amazing. Can yes. I ask? I'm... Why have you brought him to us? What would you like well, us to do? I'd love him to look like a bear again. He should be a teddy bear. He doesn't look like a teddy bear, does he? <laughs> You'll be all right, I'm sure. He will. He was a great friend when I was little. And he, he, he means a lot to me because of that, really. I hope that the teddy bear ladies can make him look more like a teddy bear again. And, um, Renew an old friendship. <laughs> Julie and Amanda's first task is to remove the bear's cover that Janet's mum made all those years ago. Oh, that's not a bad start, is it? In the process, it will reveal not only what condition he's in, but could confirm a suspicion Amanda has about Wheelie Ted's origin. I've got a really Really good feeling that we might be looking at an early Stife bear on wheels. Yep, that's where I was going. He's got the wheels. Underneath his feet, there's another layer of felt. Look here, and it's yeah. red. And that is, definitely to my mind, Stife definitely trait. Stife. Yep. Definitely. Stife is a world famous German toy brand that rose to prominence during the Victorian era. Their bears are considered extremely collectible, depending on their condition. Janet did say she thinks there's some damage to his face. She did, didn't she? Oh, look. Oh, that's not so bad. She says confidently. <laughs> he no, hasn't got any ears. No. Um, we've got his eyes. There's his original nose and a bit of his original mouth. Fantastic. But this, obviously, we need to take it off and see what's going on under this muzzle. You can do that first. I think so. Can you hold him up? I'm liking what I see. Yes, yeah, so am I. Under the patch, Wheelie Ted's nose has been packed flat. So Julie wants to pull his muzzle out, back into its original bear form. There it there goes. Go. That's where it should be. This so is now... what we're looking for, this shape. There you being... go. I don't want to pull it too hard, but if you can see there, and this is the piece we have to replace around this side. 